Hey everyone, it's Anthony. We're back at GLAD and now I'm joined by Luis de Felipes. They have a great short showing here at Sundance. It's called For Nona Anna and it is beautiful. I, I mean, I, 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 I've just seen it and congratulations. Thank you. Um, you're not a stranger to uh, film festivals. You, this showed also at Toronto. So how do you compare the two experiences between Sundance and Toronto? Um, well, Toronto was very special just because I'm based in Toronto. Hometown, yeah. Yeah, hometown. hometown. And basically my whole family went. So half the theater was just my fam and that was really fun. And here it's just, you know, me, my parents and some of the team. So it's like a lot more different. Just not, not to have their support. Right. I mean, I feel their support, but they're yeah. not here in the room like hooting, hollering. So tell me a little bit about this short because I know it's I've got a very important message for you. Yeah, it's um, it's about a trans girl and her relationship with her grandmother, her nonna, her Italian mm -hmm. nonna, and they're both going through similar experiences of um, body issues and identity issues and alienation. And um, the nonna is kind of, she's in her later years and she's kind of losing her agency. So her family's packing up all her stuff and getting ready to move her into a senior's home. Well, her granddaughter is kind of really coming into her own, and for the first time in her life, she's feeling good in her body. And she's feeling happy in her body. So just two women who are going through similar experiences and they're just seeing each other and each other's struggles in one another's eyes. Is, uh, is it a little bit autobiographical for you at all? It is a little autobiographical. It's based on my relationship with both my nonna and my bisnonna, which means grandmother and great-grandmother in Italian. Okay. Um, I spent a lot of time with them growing up. My parents did not send me to daycare. They sent me over to nonna's house. Same for me. Hey, I there you go. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Um, and they just were so encouraging of me experimenting with gender and they didn't find it weird when I started trying on their clothes or their shoes and I just really wanted to tell a story about two women who just are going through similar experiences and just get rid of this like this this these stories about trans characters where the, the arcs rely on the transition as the arc of the story we start at the beginning of the story and like they're like figuring out um their true gender and then it ends at the end when everything's great and they've been accepted by society and I also want to tell a story where trans characters aren't sensationalized when they're not where they're not eroticized when they're not sexualized where it's just a girl being a girl because yeah. some days you know my life is not consumed by gender some days the worst thing that happens to me is I lose my phone it happens a lot but <laughs> you know that's the reality um let's talk about the actress well I guess she, she is an actress now I know she, she, is she how did you find her? Because I know there's a little bit of a backstory there. Her name is Maya. Maya Henry. Yes. Yeah. Tell me all about Maya Henry. Yeah, she's fabulous. Um, she's not really an actress. Right. She's just a normal, normal chick, normal girl. Um, at the beginning of casting, we had gone to Actra, which is like the union in Toronto, to find trans actors. And they only had two women who self-identified as trans, and they were both older than we needed. So we started hosting acting workshops and just... In, inviting trans women from the community who were interested in acting to come out and do this fun little drama class with us. And I had been watching Maya on YouTube for a while and I kind of thought something was there. So I invited her to come and she was amazing. She just is Chris. Um, and that it's the same with a lot of the other characters in the film as well. Everyone is real people. My aunt's in it. My parents' godson is in it. Um, yeah, just real people just being themselves. And so much of the scenes between Chris and Nona are, sometimes there's not a lot of words, mm -hmm. but you feel um, this bond that they're, you know, deepening. Um, how important was that for you to, I mean, it's, it's tricky, I would imagine, to take someone who's not necessarily an actress, but then those scenes are so intense and so important. Mm -hmm. um, was you, were you nervous at all, or did you know that she was, she could do it? Mm -hmm. No, I knew she could yeah. do it. I think for me, I really believe that, like, I don't remember what director said this, so it's not my thing. I'm not taking credit for it, but 90% of directing is just casting the right person and just letting them do their thing. So I think I just casted the right person. They were fabulous. And I, and I don't like a lot of dialogue in scripts because I find a lot of what is being said is not actually being said in words. It's in, like, the little pregnant pauses or the looks or the tucking of hair behind your ear. Like, it's not those that. little, yeah. like, nuances that 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 the true motivation of characters is happening and also nonna and chris speak different languages so there's not like a huge opportunity for them to have these like in-depth conversations 
what's been the response like so far? Because I know, you know, this isn't your first time showing this film, but Sundance is really a home for uh, groundbreaking and progressive and diverse films. So what have, you know, what have people been saying about it? People have been really supportive of it. And I think the most rewarding experience is after a screening, people coming up to me and just being like, that woman reminded me of my grandmother or that woman reminded me of my mother. And that was what I wanted to do at the end of the day, just tell a story that's universal to everyone where they can see their own experiences in another's eyes. I mean, that's what I think cinema is all about. It's a beautiful story. It's called For Nona Anna, and you have to check it out. It is showing here at the Sundance Film Festival, and you will find it, I'm sure. How can people see it if they're not here with us at Sundance? I mean, hopefully it'll play more festivals. Yes. Where, I mean, my dream is to get it into like so many LGBTQ film festivals because that's where I think it needs to go as well um so look out for it we're hoping to get eventually put it on vimeo fingers crossed fingers crossed yeah all right thank you so much nice to see you and we'll see you later